hello everyone today we will discuss uh, the amps uh, which is actually a software used for the uh, simulation of the of the solar cells uh, maybe it may be p junction it may be uh, single junction double uh, multi junction and so on so the uh, one can ask uh, that uh, for example if we have uh, a solar simulation and why we need to do that so uh, we can say uh, that the simulation before experiment is important because we need to get some information about that device and we need to analyze that what is the behavior of that photovoltaics uh, it may be a diode, it may be a solar cell and uh, after uh, after that we can also say that we can save the time, energy, money before doing experiment because we, we know that doing experiments are uh, expensive because we need some material, we need to buy that and we need to do some characterization now that may be done with the expensive devices like scanning electron microscopy or uh, other devices uh, so we can save that uh, uh, that time energy and uh, money before doing experiments by getting those things we can provide uh, uh, guidelines for the experiments we can say that okay if we have uh, some valid simulation uh, of the devices then we can go on for the for the experiments so actually this video is about the simulation then i will go uh, through uh, details um, that how we can we can simulate devices uh, through this uh, software so there are many softwares which can be used for the simulation uh, for example i i took some uh, some software names that is scabs uh, which is which can be used for the photovoltaics uh, radiation detector as well as we have amps uh, which can also be used for the photovoltaics single junction multi junction devices like for example uh, like uh, we can say that pn junction pin nip and so on we have also another mcnp uh, that is used for the radiation transport uh, however, we will focus only on uh, on this uh, AMPS, which is analysis of microelectronic and photonic structures, which is 1D. And this uh, for this uh, for this simulation, we need to know the material properties. This is the flowchart that we need to know which material we are going to use. For example, for the solar cell, so let's say we have the band gap of the material we have the affinity we have the uh, doping concentration it may be n type it may be p type uh, so we need to uh, to play around those uh, 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 features of the of the materials after that that will show us that how the device performance uh, influenced with with those uh, material properties then this software uh, numerically solves actually the uh, the famous equations uh, which is coded in this uh, within this do, uh, so, uh, simulation software uh, as an equation and continuity equation about the charges i compiled some uh, features of this software uh, through this software we can deal with the defect density uh, it may be in the bulk of the material, it may be at the interfaces of the device. Uh, then we can see the uh, doping concentration of the, of the n-type, p-type, intrinsic and so on. And also we can deal with the band gap of the material, electric field and charge distribution as well. And this uh, software can also tell us about the band to band or shock lead her. Uh, how recombination and transport of the charges like for example uh, 
or there are uh, recombination of the charges or generation of the charges it can also uh, show us some information about the Bol uh, Boltzmann and Fermi direct statistics uh, uh, see the interface of this uh, software uh, so we will see this window this is the interface of the software at the first window we need to uh, to put ambient conditions uh, it is like for example if we see in this window for example if we click on this window uh, this window will pop up in uh, here we will see the temperature of the device uh, here I put the room temperature we can increase decrease obviously the performance of the of the device will and will change our uh, uh, or we can change with the with respect to the temperature uh, here we have another column this is uh, like light uh, for example if you want to check the device performance uh, uh, at uh, under illumination condition or under a dark condition here I put uh, illumination with it, which is full sun illumination or 1.5 G uh, here the quantum efficiency we can also check the quantum efficiency of the device which can tell us that how much photon incoming photon are converted into uh, excitons or the uh, or, uh, or the charges of uh, free charges we can say uh, here we also uh, can we can we can play with the uh, with the contacts like for example if we have here uh, if you if we see this is the front contact is uh, this is the back contact uh, for example light comes from the glass side which is transparent in this condition and here for example if we have electrode so one can say that one side is uh, top contact and the other is back contact here we can we can we can say that at the bottom the reflection of light is zero uh, which is an ideal case however there is minimum uh, reflection of light at this side there is perfect uh, reflection of the light uh, however we need to to know that which material is going to be it to be applied and in, in the in the device so if we have the contacts of the material the semiconductors can have this contact which is uh, for example if the for me this is the conduction band of the material this is the valence band similarly here is the, the conduction valence band and between that uh, there is a energy level which is called or uh, maybe we know that uh, that is a fermi level so if the fermi level of one material match with the contact material so we can we can say that this is a ideal ohmic contact which is in consideration uh, similarly we, we, we may have this uh, material contact which is selective ohmic contact we, need, we may have this contact so this energy level can be can be uh, obtained by simulating this uh, the device through this amps then we have a run window so this uh, let's say we have the second we, we, we click on the second window in the, in the software so this window will pop up and uh, this is actually about the layers for example if we have first layer of the of the titania we have second layer let's say the perovskite which is intrinsic uh, in this case or photoactive this is the another layer uh, it may be the comparison between two uh, material I, I just took this example so uh, for example we put this material or uh, add this layer so we have to define the thickness of the layer as well and we have to define the electric property defect density optical uh, response of that material and some grid uh, boundary conditions at that uh, at that uh, material or at that layer so uh, if we if we load some other uh, simulated device or the, the the layers so we can also do that uh, from the file 
so if we have this uh, information of the material uh, like for example if we have a dialect constant so we can put this over here energy gap over here and affinity electron affinity and so on we can go through uh, this after uh, we know that there may be some uh, uh, defects at the at the interfaces so we we have to insert some uh, some uh, defect interfaces or defect layers at the interfaces for example uh, in this case if I took uh, the interface between between the ETM that is electron transporting layer and the perovskite layer so I need to know or I need to put the information of that layer as well similarly uh, I took an example of the HTM and perovskite interface so we, we can put those information as well and this can tell us that what is the uh, defects at the interfaces and charge recombination or generation and so on so for example if we if we see this is the results obtained uh, from 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 some uh, from two devices uh, one is like based on the FTO this is glass this is the electron transporting material this is the perovskite which is active layer and this is the hole transporting and this is the back electrode and this is another uh, device so this by running that simulation this will tell us the the JV curve or the current density voltage curve of that uh, device and we can we can we can tell that what is the open circuit voltage the short circuit density the fill factor and the efficiency of the device even we can and we can we can say or we can see the series resistance as well as the shunt resistance of the uh, of the device uh, this is actually uh, the performance of that device which is simulated uh, the generation of the uh, like uh, the generation of the charges this is the perovskite region actually from here to here this is the perovskite region and uh, this interface uh, or this region is actually the the charge transporting layers this is the htm hole transporting material and this is the electron transporting material this can tell us that how uh, the electrons are generated and extracted uh, in the in the device then we can check also the energy level diagram this is the energy level of the of the device that what is going on at the whole transporting material interface the electron transporting material interface this is uh, uh, just like the Shockley interface or Shockley contact as we have seen in the in, in the in the, uh, in the previous slides and this can tell us that how the efficiency uh, change with respect to the energy band offset uh, this is the mismatching for example if there are if there is a uh, larger uh, uh, mismatching between the uh, hole transporting material and perovskite so maybe we will get uh, lower efficiency and if there is uh, is a little bit matching so we can get more uh, efficiency of the device so this is actually the a brief introduction to to the amps and how we can get the simulation in the coming uh, videos i will i will i will teach about the how we can use uh, this uh, simulation